In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we take this time to acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made all of those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come, and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land, in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one priest for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy, and cleanse them so that they may be my people, and I may be their God. My servant David shall be priest over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers live. They shall live on it forever, they and their children, and their children's children, with my servant David their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace, it shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will multiply them, and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus the nations shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The, the Lord, Lord will guard God us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles, says the Lord. He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The, the Lord will guard us as, as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. 
the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. The Lord regards us as the shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord who guards us as a shepherd guards his flock. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Cast away from all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done came to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, you know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, What do you think? That he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in Christ, later today, Holy Week begins as we celebrate the Vigil Mass for Palm Sunday of the Passion of the Lord. We will live stream Mass at 4 p.m. and Father Vincent will bless palms for your taking whenever you visit the church over the coming days. The church is open daily from 8.30 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. And on Palm Sunday, I will celebrate Mass live stream at 9.30 a.m. And following that Mass, at about 10.15, we will have a drive-through blessing of palms on the transcontinental side of the church. Bring your own palm with you and drive through for the blessing. At this point, I would like to commend all those 
decorating their doors for Palm Sunday. It's fairly obvious that the church is about to enter Holy Week, especially when we hear in the Gospel Scripture today that the chief priests and the Pharisees convened with the Sanhedrin to plot against Jesus. And we hear, so Jesus no longer walked about in public. You know, in a sense, we might take those words of Jesus no longer walking about in public and maybe think about ourselves because we no longer walk about in public like we used to. Some civil parishes are imposing curfew on residents because of the virus. We can easily get angry about all of this or we can move like Jesus and his disciples into a time of reflection, prayer, and being all that we can be, and setting the world on fire with the love of Jesus Christ for one another. Brothers and sisters, this lockdown brings us back to the reality of being baptized and claimed for Christ, and how we have to be the difference that makes a difference. How we as a people have a better understanding of what it means to be truly a domestic church. The term domestic church refers to the family growing in holiness. So over Holy Week, use your phones and read the readings of the church. You will find yourself in the readings of Holy Week somewhere. You will find yourself maybe wearing many costumes, from Jesus to Pilate, to Mary Magdalene, and even Peter and Judas in their betrayals. We are in there. It has been said, to know the will of God is the greatest knowledge. To do the will of God is the greatest achievement. During Holy Week, let us ponder on what we have done to be worthy of the Lord's passion and death on a cross. Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Gregory Amen, Archbishop Alfred Hughes, Bishop Fernand Chery, for all of our priests, our deacons, our religious, we pray especially for our seminarians and those being ordained priest and deacon next month. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray thee for our president and leaders of governments throughout the world, especially at this time. We pray too for the safety of our military, our police, and our first responders as well as our doctors and nurses working tirelessly in our hospitals, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, indeed for ourselves as a pilgrim people. We remember in a very special way those who are ill are homebound. We pray especially for those with the virus, and for those who have died recently as a result, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a very special way for our teachers and children here at St. Anne. We miss you, and we pray God's blessing over you at this time. We pray indeed for your parents in a special way, as they now teach you and open your minds and hearts to the ways of prayer and faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Saint Anne, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Joachim, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Rock, pray, pray for, for us. Blessed Francis Xavier Silas, pray for us.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good all His holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and as an expiation for our sins. May they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and ever to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole Church has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your Majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we are claimed. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy there for these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. Save our Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, 
spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into a light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Anne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, that thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all the stress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Are you saying? Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those now called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ was handed over 
to gather into one the scattered children of God. Please join us in the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the terrible. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into a hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about our world, seeking the ruin of souls. 